This is the City FM City TV Heritage Month on Air series. My name is Kokui Selome Hansen, and we're continuing our discussion on names and tradition in naming in Ghana. Now, there are some popular names that you might hear, and you may wonder, how did this name originate? What does it mean? Where did it come from? Who bears this name? Meaning, which community or which people usually have this name? Well, to answer some of those questions for us is Kweku Dakuankara, our resident historian. Welcome again, Kweku. Thank you. Always great to have you Thank on you. City TV and City FM. Now, for our listeners and viewers, again, this question may, may crop up about certain names, you know, especially certain prominent names that we hear a lot. And you may wonder, okay, is this name anglicized? Is it a, an indigenous Ghanaian name? And what's behind the name and its meaning? So hopefully we can delve into some of that in our chat today. Okay. Okay. So I've got a few for you that I'm going to just throw at you to see what, what you can give me as far as information. Okay. Now, since we're talking mainly about Akan names today, there are some names that I've always wondered, you know, in the Nzema community, you hear a lot of names with Blay, Blay Amehir, you know, Blay Mieza. Okay. What is it about Nzemas and Blay? Yeah, so the Nzemas, just like all other accounts, the language they speak, the Nzemas speak, is called um, uh, Bia, mm -hmm. group of languages. Mm -hmm. So the Akan dialects have the Chi, the Mfanti, and the Bia speaking languages, mm -hmm. all forming the Akan oh. language. So the Bia language, we have the Ahanta, we have okay. the Anyi, okay. Bawule, okay, Sefi, or Sami, okay, and then the Nzema forming under the Bia speaking language. As far as also going up to the north of Ghana, the Anufo or the Chokosi, the language they also speak is also an Akan language, Damn. which is Bia, okay. So that is the Nzema. So in Nzema, you see name like Mieza. Mm -hmm. Nzemas use Z for S, okay. So name like Blemeza uh -huh. or Blemeza. The Ble is an anglicization of Nzema name Bile. Oh. Bile, which means black. In Chi language, Bile means Obiri. So a person called Obiri in, or Obiri in Fanti, Obiri in Chi, and then Bile, Bile in Nzema. is black. It's a black or a dark person. Oh. A black or a dark person, Bile, okay. which has been anglicized what? Blay. Oh, I see. So for the Fantis, Obri, his son or the child become Bilsom. So Obili's son, Bilsom. You oh, see the Fantis too? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. In that, in that <laughs> order. So anybody called Bilsom is Obili. Oh, I see. Okay, yes. Somewhere you see they call it Wubil. So Wubil. It's the same name <laughs> as, as, as the one who is dark. So <laughs> that is in the fatties for you. <laughs> and then the Nzema also call it what? Bile. Bile. Or Bile. It's from Bile. I see. Black. I see. And then Bile Mieza. Yeah. So the Mieza is Mensa, the third born. No way. Mensa, Mieza. <laughs> Mensa, third born child. Yeah. So the female version will be Manza. Manza. Okay. Instead of Manza. 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 Mieza. In, in Mensa. that form. So, Bile. Mieza. So, Bile. Mieza. Is, is a Bile. A dark Mieza. person who's dark the best. Person. <laughs> Go to Cabra Bile. I'm here. Let's yes. take my, fav my, my favorite <laughs> friend. So, his name Cabra. Mm -hmm. uh, Cabral. Oh, as you see. Yes. It's Kabila. In Nzema. That is the what, Tuesday, Tuesday born. born? Kobina. And it's, it's been Kabila anglicized to, to Cabral. Kabla. Really? You see? <laughs> <laughs> then his blay is Bile, as right. I have explained. And then, then you have the Ami here. Yes. Which is, which is the name of a dead palm. Palm tree. That tall one. It used to be in the It's called For, Ami here. Ami here. Ami here. It is A M E H Y I. Ami here. Ami here. And it's become Ami here. <laughs> <laughs> so he is so, black person born on Tuesday who is a with dead a date palm. palm. 
Three. <laughs> so the name is a floral name. In, in, in a name, we call it uh, floral names. Okay. Some people are named like Dia. It's a yes. floral name. Yes. Odum. It's a floral so, name. So now we say Odina, instead of Dia, we say it's a floral Dia. Name. Odum. Yeah. Odum. Odum. But it's Odum. From Odum. Yes. Dia. And we have Onina from the Sekapok tree, which is Onina. The Onina tree. Okay. So we have three names. Mm. Okanto. Okay, for, for 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 a wood, we see people by name or country. So there are a lot of tree names that people bear. Mm. Uh, so we call them floral names. So in my work that will be coming out recently, <laughs> I have full details of all these names. All the and floral names. On their, on their, and their origins. So you yourself, the name handsome, for instance, <laughs> let me start with you. So you see your handsome, for instance. Yes. It is with S-E-N. S mine is S O N. Okay, so if it is uh, S O N, yes. If it's S O N, and it is not a gun name because no, it's the fancy. one which has S E N is a gun yes. name, and it has its roots to the Danes. Yes. The Danes so that came to say the name traced to the gas of Osu, mm -hmm. the handsome. Mm -hmm. So they have an ancestor who was a Dane. Yes. In the Osu area, and then intermarriages sent it so that is different from the fancy handsome mm -hmm. which is the anglicization of answer neighbor oh handsome and says son. Son. son okay okay and son neighbor. So, so you see, handsome. now you've revealed something good because mm -hmm. my husband is always telling me he has Danish ancestry. That's why he's called Hansen. But he's fancy. Yes. So he's just Ansaba. Yes, so it's different. <laughs> so he's Ansaban. Yes, so... So Ansaban. Yeah. Okay, this so is... So that, that is the difference between the two Hansons. E-N is Ga. It's the Ga one. O-N is fancy. O-N is fancy. Good. And so the different yeah, Danish, one is Danish, one is Ansasan. Yeah, so the Fanti did a lot of anglicization. What about with names? There are a lot of the sun names in Fanti, like Blankson, yeah. Turkson. So that is the son of Kuntu. So the chief Kuntu of uh, a small town in close to Anamabu called Eja. Yes. Eja. So uh, the chief was called Chief Kuntu. His son, Kuntu, who was uh, the first Ghanaian member of the Legislative Council, Gold Coast Legislative Council, which is uh, George Kuntu Blanksom. Mm -hmm. When he went to Cape Coast School, he was called George Kuntu. And because his father was Kuntu, mm -hmm. the name became Kuntu Neba. So he became Kuntu Blanksom. <laughs> wow. You, you get the meaning. Yes. So that is how these names <laughs> came Come about. about. So when they go to school, they try to anglicize their name. For example, again, you see a name like Selby. Yes. For instance, which is different from the Selby from Europe. The Selby was a man from Aguna Abadov, okay, who also came to settle at Anumabu. He was a, um, tri uh, a diviner. So he used Kauri. Okay. So they call it Sebe. Yes. Sebe. So when he also went to school in Cape Coast, the Sebe was anglicized to Selby. Selby. This Selby's son, who was in uh, one of the early elites also in Cape Coast and Anamabo. Mm -hmm. One of them called Selby came to Accra, got married to a woman from a Jan, uh, from a Jan family mm -hmm. of uh, Teshi. And then when they got married, the woman, Lydia Jan, says, I don't want my family name to get lost. And then, so they combined the name and become Jan, Jan Selby. Selby. <laughs> So you our see, for, for, NHI for head, uh, Madam Lydia Sunny Janice Selby, Selby, sorry. Yes, that is the, the father. Uh, that is oh. how his grandfather, uh, uh, his father got the name. Amb former Ambassador Janice Selby. Janice Selby. Uh, Kofi Janice Selby, Dr. Janice Selby. That's how he and his siblings got the name Janice Selby. It was a combination <laughs> of Jan, uh, Kofi, Dr. Janice Selby's mother and father's name. Lydia Jan and then Echo. Uh, Selby. 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 The name Sebe. become, yes, yeah, so it's traced to Sebe. And they all trace their roots to Anomabo. So over the years, families have moved, mm. and then you see the names mm. elsewhere, and, and so on. Oh. So these are how the name, and another one, uh, in fact, I have historical records I can give to show evidence of all these things. That's the marriage certificates, school certificates, like a guy in Cape Coast, uh, Cape Coast that went to school, and his name is Tete, mm -hmm. in Tete, okay? Then the name becomes Checha, because the white man cannot pronounce Tete. <laughs> so you see it as 
so we become Checha. And you see the name, you think it is a European, yeah, it's a European name. name, isn't it? So in Checha like become Madame Christine Checha. Checha. Yeah. So you, you go to uh, a hunter area. Someone also go to school. From the evidence I have, he had a name like Bisu. Mm -hmm. And when he goes, it could become Bisu. So the Bisu and the Bisu are also the same the name. The same name. Again, a Cromwell son also goes to school and the name becomes Cromwell. Oh boy. You see? So, <laughs> you see <laughs> how the fact is. Yeah. It is quite interesting when you use historical archival data. So, it, is, it isn't always the case because, you know, the assumption a lot of times is because of the European influence and intermarrying, they, the names were adopted yes. from European names. So but it sometimes it's just been yeah. anglicized. That is the common uh, uh, um, misnomer. Yeah, that misconception. sometimes people just look and guess. Yes, there are some of them whose family were European. Mm -hmm. We have the Derby. But even when the, some of the Debbies are white, the fantasy who name is Debbie also try to <laughs> anglicize it to, <laughs> to be like Debbie. Like that. Okay? Okay. So you hear a name like Gezi. Mm -hmm. And you think, yes. how can this be? It's the name Jesse. Anglicized to Gezi. Okay? You see the name Daze. Yes. From Daze Metal. <laughs> so that is why some people, in order for you to give to you a clue to the meaning of the name, they do it still Daze. Oh, so that is still uh, Christabel. Hi, Christabel still does. Yes, name. so the still is also does it. Yes, <laughs> so that's why it's still does it. Oh, you see, so the, it, these are the interesting things about, about the, the name. Names. And you think it's the fantasy only who does, though? Mm. No, no, you so you see, like everywhere people, someone is called Beckley, then you say Beckley, you okay. see. Uh huh. So you know, people like the Kruje people from Africa, we have Krujism. Yes. So it, it is not with only <laughs> the fancy alone. You see, it's a it's a sort of anglicization. Okay. When names. people go to school, they try to anglicize mm. their name because they are engaging with Europeans. So some of the things that led to the anglicization one is through the European. Uh, Christi uh, Christian Christian of children in the in the in the church, or the schools they attended, or the European register where where they were entering the name because they were using European orthography, mm. and they don't have the chi yeah. sound. So instead of K Y, okay, which is chi, they it become the C H. Mm -hmm. So you see a name like um, fancy people called K. It is from the name Che. All the fancy John K is John Che. Mm -hmm. So when you trace, you, 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 you go you, back far you enough. You go to the, the name. Okay. And then there were others like Ferguson, yeah. whose ancestors were straight whites. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. River Falls, they are straight whites. Okay. No and those were the Dutch there. names like Van der Poy, Van, der yes. um, Van Dykes. Mm -hmm. Those are minimum about 50 of them, getting to over 90, I have in the record. Who won the last? Those all are those actual names, Dutch names. They and they are, I trace also in my work all their family from the first white man that came to marry to now the graft white people. White so, how the graft got married to Johnson and the name became the graft Johnson, Johnson and so on. And so, so okay. these names tell us, and of these names today, they come from specific fancy towns, specific gar towns specific airway towns. Mm. So when we talk of Quist, for instance, they are between two places, in Osu and then in Qatar. So there's Ga and so there's there is a Ga and Qatar uh, 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 airway okay. aspects. Okay. Although some also got married to some fancy. So the first chief, uh, uh, speaker of parliament, uh, the Quist. Quist, for example, the yes. grandmother was from Anomabu's chief's house. So and still is also a quest. And he's also a member of the Richter mm. family. So you see the linkages. Mm, mm. So the family name will show you. You see another name like Aguno yeah, Rena. Williams. Yes. Okay. So this Rena family, they come from Sierra Leone. Originally from Sierra Leone. But when they came, there was who settled in Vot, uh, in the Qatar area. 
to trade in our raw area, the bed the new, in order to differentiate them from the ones that came to marry the Fanti women, because the Sierra Leoneans and the Fantis have intermarried for a very long time, and there are a lot of Gold Coast family who are Sierra Leoneans. So this Rena family, the ones that they married in the uh, Volta region, they call them Awona Rena. So Awuno yes. is just an anglicization of Awona. Uh -huh. Awona. <laughs> so Awuno, yes. Awuno Rena. Yes. And, uh, so that Awuna. is the meaning. Wow. And the Fantis call it Awuna, not Awuno. So the Awuna, A-W-U-N-A, is what has been anglicized to Awuno. Awuno. So, so, and so is the Williams. The Williams family from Sierra Leone, they married a lot. Mm -hmm. Some married, uh, uh, J.E. Hayford married one of the Williams, and uh, the daughter was Gladys Casey Hayford, who is the first uh, Gold Coast poet mm -hmm. who writes in, the, uh, 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 in, in terms of his uh, writing or poetic style in the Harlem Renaissance writing form. And he was one of the first female uh, uh, politicians to speak in a public podium in the Gold Coast. Unfortunately, that young lady died early, mm -hmm. and he didn't. Ha he had only one kid. He married a Salonian, a hunter. So there's one of them, Kobina Hunter, who is married to another Salonian, who has written a book about that lady, uh, Lucilda Hunter. Had a work on there, and then he had a collection of all the, the poems. poems of Gladys Kesley Hayford. Most Ghanaian uh, poets don't even know. And he has an extraordinary poems that if you read, it will wow you wow. at the time. And this goes back to the 1910, 1920s. Look at this. And she, she, she was there. So it, it shows you. One of the Williams also got married to, um, how do you call it, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Nigerians who were in the Gold Coast called Shapara Williams. Okay, So we have some Ghanaians called Shapara. In Ghanaians, when they are pronouncing the Yoruba word, the sha, S in Yoruba is sha. Yes. So you see the name Segun. You say Segun, yeah, but it's Shegun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Oli Shegun, not Oli yes. Segun. So that's the way they saw the Sapara. That Ghanaian say is wrong, but it's supposed to be Shapara. So this Shapara Williams, one of them also got married to the Grants. So we have the Shapara Grants. He was a medical doctor from Nigeria that mm. came. So you see some of this William. Mm -hmm. That no, William so from Sierra Leone that went to the Keta and married the Ewe woman also produced the, the Anwana Williams mm. or the mm. Anwana Williams. Mm. 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 So also anglicized to. So there's a clue Aunu to Williams. even among countries. Yes. A lot of intermarriages. No, there's and a lot of intermarriages. Of Nigerians that came yeah. to Gold Coast to marry. We have the. Uh, the the Akiwumi, okay. Mm -hmm. So the first speak, uh, the, the second speaker now took over after Christ, Mulade Akiwumi, who was also a Supreme Court judge, also traced back from the Oyo uh, in, back to Nigerian among the Yoruba. And his people came to stay uh, settle in the Gold Coast. In fact, uh, one of uh, this was, was also a medical doctor, the first female uh, doctor, uh, medical doctor, was a Nigerian. And so on, and Akumi was in the Gold Coast. So you, you, you see that there has also been inter mm -hmm. West African uh, a, a yes. family names Mingling. that have also come to us, like Dav. Dav. The, we have the, the first fem a Ghanaian female parliamentarian, yeah. okay, who, was, who got married to uh, Dr. J.B. Dankwa, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. was also a dove, and the father was Franz Dav. Franz Dav father was also from, uh, from a Sierra Leone. So we have the Sierra Leonean in that form. We have the Acemons, Dr. Acemon, who found the first uh, surgery, that medical doctor, was also traced to uh, the Creoles in Freetown. Okay. So the Acemons are there. You can also talk about the Makati, Leslie mm -hmm, McCarthy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? That, the other McCarthy is different from the fancy name that has been anglicized to McCarthy, which is Mankata. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> people call Mankata has anglicized their name to McCarthy, McCarthy. okay? So, so that is, so they used to call, this is how it came about, when Governor McCarthy came to the Gold Coast, 
they couldn't pronounce the name. So the name As Mankata usual. was given to say he was called Governor Mankata. Mankata. And they do that. So people who also have the name Mankata that uh, their name to Makati. Okay. So the Makati from um Sala Leone, they are says M comma at the top, then the Kati. As opposed to the Mankata Makati, mm -hmm. which is M small C capital C, yes, then the Kati that's the one we goes, know. as we know. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. One of the most popular Ghanaian names, arguably Boateng. So Boateng. What's the story behind a name like Boateng? So Boateng is a, a, a one whose help is upright. His help. Uh, boa. Yes, Boateng. That is why boa. he is Dasebre. We genuflect to thank him without. We, we thank him until we are tired because his help is so upright. So Dasebre. Oh, I see. You see. Yadana siya yabre da sebre boatin. Uh huh. I like that. So da sebre boatin. Now I will listen. I I I'll think differently when I hear that name. It's a it's a it's a very solid name. Very. Which is traced to Jabin. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, it's traced to Jabin. So we have the Ekwamra boatin, which is there. Okay. Now let's analyze your name. So Ekwamra Ekwamra is there. So. Kweku Dako Anka, we're talking about candies. So, Let's so, break so, your so, name down. You see, You're born on Wednesday, obviously. So my name is Kweku. Yes. So Kweku um, um, is a person born on Wednesday. Yes. It, back in the day, Mercury is a planet mm -hmm. called Eku. Eku in the fantasy. So it is the day that people from so Kwa Eku, Kwa a servant, okay? So the servant of the Mercury's day, which is Wednesday. Really? That is the Sunday. So Eku is the planet uh, Mercury. So Ekua yes. is from the Eku. When you add, so Ekuba. So the Enzima say Ekuba. Ekuba. So yes, Ekuba, yes, yes. Ekuba is what the fantasy has, uh, the fantasy has removed the B and it has become Ekua. The Ashantis also put Wa. So Ekua or Ekuya. Yes, Ekuya. So from the Eku. So mine is Kweku, hmm. the servant of, of Mercury. the Mercury of that day, the hmm. person born on that day. That's how the name came about. Hmm. So the appellation is Asamentri Aba Kweku. So the Aba Kweku, that is rod, ancient rod, ancient rod Kweku, okay, the ancient rod. So Kweku is a leader, hmm. he's an advocate. Okay. That is what Ashanti said, said Atobi, Kweku Atobi. He buys for you, so he commands. So mm -hmm. every Kweku is an advocate. He okay. speaks for. He, he, he is also an organizer, effective organizer. So, so you're saying my co-host Kweku David yeah. should be listening to all of yes. this. Yes, and they his name. are very very articulate yeah. because he's he a leader. So okay. and he holds the 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 rod is a symbol of authority and leadership. All of this behind Mancha. Kweku. Well, I guess any yes, Wednesday so, morning. So th yes, so that is as right. entry about Kweku. That and is what has been. Fantis have compressed into Abeku. Ah. So you see okay. the name Kweku yes. is also Abeku. Yes. So Kweku Abeku has his, uh, <laughs> his affectionate name. Yes. Okay. Or pet name. Pet name. In that form. So the Abekus, the yes. Kwekus, the or, Kokus. Yes. Or Kuku. Kuku. Yep. Okay. Kuku. And then the female version becomes Kuku. From that order nice. among the fantasies, you've only done then one name. We have a move from Kwe. Okay, Daku. Yo, so Daku. <laughs> Daku is here. Okay, he's the one who make kings. He make kings. A king You're a kingmaker. Yes, Daku is here. So da Oko, the one who fights relentlessly. You always Re fight him. Yes, he's a relentless <laughs> fighter. He never give up. Okay. He doesn't. When defeat comes his way, he doesn't bother at all. Mm -hmm. He takes it on and fights. So people called Daku are people who are able to brace the storm. Like Gabriel Tridaku. Yes, because he is always. He had a lot of adversaries, and he is a kingmaker. That is why he's called Daku Ampim. Osiahene. He's unpushable. Okay. Daku, when you push him, he can't. He don't go back. He stand where it is. Pim okay. Oh wow! So that is the kind of person he is. Uh, he is. So that is 
<laughs> that's uh, you. That is me. Dako. Dako. Uh, then and the Ankara. Ankara. Yes. Ankara is one who is <laughs> interested in him. Eh? <laughs> interested in him, right? <laughs> interested in him. Ankara is the one who does things, okay? Without giving a damn about what people are oh, saying. Oh, wow. So he can leave without telling, saying goodbye. So I was a free Ankara. Yes, he can because he is so authoritative in himself mm -hmm. that he can do things without, you know, what people say. So he does things so much that he doesn't need to say what he's doing. Okay. So he moves around that saying what he's doing. So if you study the history of Nana Chumesi Ankara of Adenkrenya, he is the Obonini in Krewili. Mm -hmm. Okay? We are going to say Obonini in Krewili. <laughs> it's an old Akanchi. He is a fearful person. Mm. He is one man who divides a river. Okay? Into two. In the morning, he drink at the source. In the afternoon, he, he, he bath in the middle. In the evening, he, re, he relax at the end of the river. So that is why the nature may see Ankara, Obunini in Kremia, Ojari in Sua Anopa, na Anajogian in the Fifini, and we are getting the Fifini, no Jani Anadu. So it shows you about the character. So when they mention your name, all of this is behind it. The people maybe <laughs> that they don't even know. So the work I'm writing to come out this year, hopefully this year, which has been edited by Professor Adams Bodomo and is about to come out in. It, it, I have the list of the name, the root of the name, where it comes from, and then the appellations, the by names of the name. Of the names. So this is what I gave to you. That's why whenever I mention the name, I gave you the by names. Yes. What is Kweku Obrisi? The appellation. The appellation as a minchaba kweku. Okay. <laughs> then I gave it to you. So in that way, people will now begin to appreciate. Their name, as yeah. opposed to that people used to say, I can't names do not have meaning. It's a lie. It's a Every lie. Every I can name, Fanti, Akomu, Kriapim. And in this work, I trace every name, the names where they come from specifically. When they say, okay. Asasa Sreku, Akomu straight. I've got one last one for you, very quickly. I have two co workers and co hosts who share a name, same name, Akoto. I've asked both of them what it means, and they do not know. What does Akoto mean? So Akoto, you find this name originally Diana name from Akwamu. Yes. Pafu Akoto is a warrior. He fights. Okay? So Akoto is a warrior. He is that kind of warrior. He fights until the fight ends. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's why we call him Oyinefi Yankomago. Okay? So he's one who fights and brings a lot of booty to the house. So he expands the house, he fills the house. That's it, it's the fee. Oh God, Fred, Akoto Boafo and Kojo Akoto Boateng. That was for the two of you. So, Kweku, so, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I can't mention all your appellations and by names, but it's okay. Kweku da Kwankra, I am sorry. Thank you so much. This is the Heritage Month on Air Series. Now you know what's behind your name, most of you, especially if you're a Kweku, because he's broken it all down for us. Thank you for watching. My name is Kokui Selome Hansen, and this has been today's edition of our Heritage Month on Air Series on 97.3 City FM and on City TV. Thank <laughs> you.